Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn. And as per usual, we're in the midst of a drought. So, what did we do last episode? We kind of tidied up this place, which is uh, coming along pretty nicely, if I do say so myself. And I also got a comment to use a house to bring the power up. And I actually really, really like that. But the only thing is, I don't want it to look like a house. So what would that, what the idea would be is, uh, where's housing? Yeah, we can use the really tall one and pretty much pull it um, on the planks here to increase the height. And then we can uh, put like another smaller one going along. But again, I don't want it to look like a house. So what I may do, let's do a bit. Let me just check some stuff out here quickly. It can't build that, okay, cool. Can I put, I can put power there. I can't put power here. But I can put power there. Hmm. Yes, because what I may do is cover it with levees. <laughs> so I may do something like this. Uh, like that, like that. Sort of thing. And the power will come out the top, wouldn't it? If we use platforms. Um, power. Yes, it would. Oops, let's not let them do that. So I may do something like that. But I'll, I'll take a look at that maybe off camera or if we've got enough time in this episode, I may take a look at it at the end of the episode. But this episode is mainly going to be on getting this next big district started. Whew, we've got a big one this, in this one. This is a big production district. We're going to use explosives to mine metal and we're going to make loads and loads of materials. So we've got a lot of work. We've got a lot of work with this district. It's bare boned, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Hopefully in two episodes. All right. So how many people have I got free? 52 people. Let's send uh, 10 beavers. They can start, as you can see, I've already started preparing some stuff. Now, how I want this to be is, okay, going in. I'm gonna put planks here. We're gonna build out pretty much the whole river. So maybe about even up to here really, and just build the whole thing because we're gonna need a lot of um, production. We're then going to blow up all of this. Um, I don't know how far, it depends how far the district center can go. But yeah, we're going to blow up a lot of this because this is all going to be wood. Because we're going to need a hell of a lot of wood. And then we're going to need to make irrigation channels. So as you can see, there's going to be a lot going on. But once we start getting some production started, then it will be faster because we'll be producing at a decent speed. This should be nearly done. Yep, one more metal block. Once that's done, we should have a good cycle of uh, water flow here and pretty much unlimited em energy. And then we can connect this bad boy. How would I can get someone to build that? Maybe if I delete that, and then, where are you? I still don't remember where everything is. District gate, there, delete that district gate. Put a path here. And that gives me some space to go down there, cool. Like that, excellent. 
Now I need to, is that the same size? It's not the same size. Let's get that like that. Like that. And done. Now they should be able to build that once they build all of this. So the main thing we've got to wait for now is pretty much then building this, I've got six unemployed and then literally cutting down all the trees here. So I'm going to get actually a few more going. We'll stop that eventually, but at least that will uh, cut down the trees super fast and we can cut down these trees. So guys, you know what that means? I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so with that bit done, now we can focus on actually planning this out. Now, I did build the stairs to go down there, but I don't think I need that anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it for now, just in case. So we're gonna cover this whole area with planks. That's a lot of planks and a lot of wood. So let's just get all of that down. There we go. Nice and easy. So it's going to be something like that. We're going to move that stairs right at the end. And then we're going to use these ones to come all the way. This is going to cost a ridiculous amount of resources. Just a crazy amount of resources here. Um, how far do I want it to go out? Like here is good, I guess. Yeah, that seems all right. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes for now. And hmm, I am thinking. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. I was thinking of putting it as the single ones because just in case I want power to go underneath. But the power will go here and it will connect everything. What ones I've done? Because I might want to actually do that. Okay, that's got four logs. That's not too bad. Um, Yeah, I'm going to make it double platforms. Well, single platforms on top of each other because just in case I do want to do something with the power. Let's delete all of that. That really didn't like that. And delete that. Delete this. And this last bit. All right, so now what we need to do, <laughs> do all of that again. And uh, just do it with single platforms. Okay, so there you have it, all done with two single platforms on top of each other and the reason being is so we can run power cables underneath if we need to. Now I can start that back up. Right, do I want to do something with this? How do I want to get down there? You know what, I can just make, make a stairs here. I think that's absolutely great. So we can uh, get all that stuff if we need. But we will be farming unlimited metal now, so I am not too fast about that. But maybe we need it to start up our farming process. Most likely we'll. Alright, let's get that there. Let's see what this is like. Okay, that goes pretty far. That most we can def that can most definitely go out here. So that's great. Now the other thing I was thinking about is water flow. Now I'm gonna cut this down. I'm gonna destroy this. So the water comes here and it will come out here. So what I'm going to do is actually block off this area. I don't know how I'm going to get there. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get there because there is no space. There's no area that I can get through. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to destroy this so I can get down here and block this off. But I don't know if that goes so far. 
itch. Really? It would be better if this could go. Hmm. I may just have to build a quick small district like here somewhere and then just get them to do that. But I can do that off camera. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the water flow to flow through here. I'm going to destroy that and it can come that way. That way we can start getting irrigation in our forest area as well. So now we've got this up and running. Let's think about production. So we're going to need a hell of a lot of planks. Like, we're going to need a ridiculous amount of planks. So let's put... How many is that? I should have been counting as I was putting them down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do ten. Right? And then let's double that. So we have twenty machines making planks. That is absolutely gonna be ridiculous. This is gonna be a beast of a district. It's gonna be such a crazy district. So then, we need to start making cogs. Now we do need to use planks for multiple different things. So, if we look here, we need planks for cogs or gears. And we need planks for treated. So I want to use around 10 for cogs or gears. I'm going to keep calling it cogs. I don't know why I can't call it gears. It's just not within my capabilities. Um. So we're going to do something like four of them for now. I don't know if that is going to be too much because <laughs> it doesn't say sort of the production rate. It doesn't say if I can have more or how many gears, uh, planks it takes to make a gears in the timing. So you can't really be that efficient. And we need treated planks. You know what, I'm not going to put that there. I'm not going to put that there. I'm going to put this here. Where are we going to do it? We're going to do it here. Because we're going to have this whole line using planks, basically. We've got five there. And we'll have five treated planks. Oh, they're a little bit bigger, aren't they? Of course they're a little bit bigger. There we go. There we go. So that makes us use, hopefully, 10 planks can do, deal with this. Now, the reason why I don't want a crazy amount of these is because I do want some planks left over. But we are going to sort of automate that with... Um, why are you sleeping here? Lives in a barracks, but you're sleeping there. Okay, you do you, bro. Um, so yeah, we're going to sort of automate this with storage. So I'm going to make specific storage for specific items. So once that storage is full up, then it will stop making them items and it will do to it like an overflow sort of thing. So, okay, what is the next production? We want paper and we want dynamite because dynamites are going to be crazy. We're going to need a crazy amount of dynamites. And then we've got metal. Okay. So is that it really? I believe so. So I'm going to have my metal production here, I think. So we'll do dynamites here. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, printing press. There you go. That's what I'm missing. I don't want to do that yet. Okay. These coming in. And we'll get some dynamites coming in. I think I'm going to need more printing uh, paper mills. 
I think they're called paper mills. Uh, yes, they're called paper mills. I think I think that's actually perfect. All right, let's get that done. That done. Let's do that. That and that. Now there's going to be a hell of a lot of jobs here. <laughs> It's gonna be a hell of a lot of job. This place is gonna to need to hold around 200 beavers. All right, so that's that. And we're gonna need a lot of wood. We're gonna need a, such a crazy amount of wood. All right, where can I put this printing press? Mm, we've got a printing press here. Now, I'm not too worried about making too much of these or too many of these. I think I will just have two there. You know what? I'm not liking that. <laughs> I'm not liking that at all. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's. We can focus on that a bit later. Let's focus on metal production. So now we've got the smelter. And I'm hoping one mine can at least do six smelters. We may need to add more later on, but we'll check as we go along. And obviously I'm gonna put um, Statues and stuff like that, so they have a better bonus for working because they want to. I want them to work as fast as possible. And then we got this bad boy. Uh, pull it like this, so that it's closer to the production lines and recipe. So the recipe we're going to do is efficient scrap metal, which use dynamites and that can hold 10 people. Okay. So as you can see, we've got a bit of work to do. <laughs> we've got just a little bit of work to do here. We're going to get all of that done. And um, that's going to be done pretty much within 0.153 seconds. So I'll see you then. And here we are, less than a second later. Now I had to cut this short because, because there's been a small update. There's been a small update. And first of all, they have uh, changed the look of these bad boys. We've got a little uh, hole here now. Also, you can no longer put power on the sides here, which I had it before, but they stopped working. So I had to build it on the shorter sides, as they say it, of the mechanical pumps. And yeah, so we had to quick, I had to quickly build all of this out. Now, they've changed the resistance of the water wheels. Now, the water wheels uh, reflect all tiles of the water wheel. The water wheel uh, reflects the resistance or flows of resistance through. So, there's a bit of a kink with this now. So, when we put the water through, it builds up here too much and it floods and it manages to get through a little bit but it kind of stops because it overflows and the pressure goes the flow goes lower so i tried building a little dam here to let out some of the water so it can keep flowing but it just doesn't work and i let this one up i let this here put this here so that i can let water out if i need to but it's just not working so we're gonna have to maybe redesign this which is gonna be a massive project or we're gonna have to build upwards so if it overflows a little bit it still has a bit of area that it can go and release itself because once it gets to here hopefully the pump should start pulling the water through a bit faster but it doesn't make it there in time because this is quite a long journey the water has to do. So we're going to have to play around with that. But, but before we do that, 
we need to get this done a bit better so we can muck around with unlimited resources. But to get this working, I also put this power thing in here because it was working for a while and it, it did help me build a lot of stuff. But in order to do that, we're going to need to finish off this power district. Now, everyone died for some reason. I think they died of thirst. Yeah, because there's no water. But we're going to need to get some engines in here and at least 10 of them so that we can at least power some stuff over here and then finish this build. I've also put down all these dynamites because this is where the big forest is going to be and I'm going to put this here so we can build out here as well. I want to put storage so let's let's get storage down because that would be nice. I want to put storage here and now I'm going to make the storage specific to each um, each production. Oh, and in the update, another good thing that's happened is they have put production times. So you can see at the bottom there with this, it takes 1.3 hours. I'm guessing that's on single speed and in game time to make one plank. Now to make one gear, it's six hours. So that means if you make uh, sort of like five of these, or maybe even less now, we'll make five of them, can power one gear shop without a backlog, and it'll also make extra planks. So this is good because maybe we don't need as many as I thought we need, but then we've got a lot of things that need planks. So we're gonna work that out. We're gonna do the mathematics a bit later. Um, are they slowly building that they are? And I want to put another storage here. This is going to be for iron bars. We're going to have one here for scrap metal. I'm going to keep them close to the production line because it just makes it easier. We're going to have one here for uh, dynamites and paper. In fact, we can put one here for paper. Yeah, I can do something like this. Maybe. Maybe I can do something like this. And that will help power that because the power will transfer through. I just need to get the power up here somehow. But we can do the power structure underneath quite easily. And then what is this? Treated planks. So we need one for treated planks there. I did build these out because I just needed to add that extra power. But I will actually delete them at some point and put some storage here of gears. Now once they're built, I wish we could specify what they're going to carry before they're built, but they can't. And let's, uh, let's, let's destroy this. Okay, you ready guys? You ready? Frame rate, goodbye. <laughs> wow. I do worry that the game will crash. There we go. Lovely. So that is a lot of space for farming. I may even get rid of this bit. Not sure yet. And right, let's get rid of this. And that gives us more space to play with. In fact, if I do something like this, why can't that go there? Oh, okay. I'll put this here like this. And then we'll put this up here. And this and it just adds extra pathways which is pretty cool good let's pause that because we don't need that running and now let's take a look at this area so we need to put i want to put at least 10 engines down because that's 400 power so that would be 4,000 power and that would sort of help we the demand is actually 3,400 so it should be good enough for now so let's uh, get this like this, I would say. We enter the gaps there. Now, we won't have enough metal bars. We mostly could make enough, to be fair. So that's free. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, 
how are we going to do this? How do we want to do this? I might want to blow up this area so I can make the power cables go underneath. Then we can put the power cables underneath here. So I'm going to build with these actually. Sorry, this can be deleted here. We can keep that one, that's fine. But I'm going to build with single platforms. Just so we can put some power underneath. And I might need to build everything with single platforms, to be honest with you. Actually, not really, because they'll connect each other. So that should be fine. Right, if we do that, we get more engines in here. Look at that, perfect. Did I put that the right way? Yes, I did. Okay. Cool. So hopefully, I just need to... Actually, I don't need to blow that up. Hopefully, I can just take this out. Like this. And put this like this. And then we can make it go around. And maybe go up in here somehow. Like this. It won't be able to do that, would it? But that can go like that. Like that. And then like that. Like that. And we can have a little pathway here. So that can go underneath there. Cool. Looks good to me. So that way the pathway can go like this. Like this. And maybe I'll build something out here as well. Not sure yet. Not sure. Then we're going to need to get this. Oh, they're not. Oh, that one's in line perfectly. Good. I was hoping one would be in line. Like that. And that should connect all of them together. But, 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 but. These take 20 metal blocks. I've got 155. So I technically could make a few of them. Um, these are the more important ones. Then we've got wood storage here. Cool. We need haulers. We don't need this anymore. Right, we need to get people in there. <laughs> That's what we need to do. We need to get people in there. All right, let's migrate a population of 10 to the power tower. All right, now what are their jobs? We've got two in the water pump, yep. Farmhouse, lumberjack flag, scavenger flag, water dump. Okay, water dump not too necessary, but it'll work. I would like one more there. We've got no one in the forester. We've got four people here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's send another five people over. Now I do need to work out this water situation. Because, obviously, there wasn't enough water. So they destroyed themselves. So how are we going to do that? Because there's not much space. We may have to build out here. I can build three more pumps here, it looks like. Yeah, should be able to build three more pumps there. Just in case. Let's, um, let's get that. Let's get this done. And then we're going to get some pumps going around there. Now I'm thinking, should I delete these pumps and blow up some of this so it has a bigger or a deeper water pool? 
that might be needed. Okay, they're finally getting water. That's good. I've got none unemployed. Scavenger. I don't really need the scavenger at the moment, to be honest with you. I've got berries coming over here, which is great. We've got the harvester. Okay. Okay, I think this should solve our problem. We need to send them metal blocks. They do not have metal blocks. Uh, who's got the metal blocks? These guys have all the metal blocks. So let's send some over there. And District 10 doesn't need wood or planks at the moment. So you can keep all of that because they've got tons of wood here. And they've got a decent amount of planks. Oh, they've built this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. Allow none. Only planks can go in here. We'll put a thousand. Right. This one is for metal blocks, isn't it? So, allow none. And only put metal blocks a thousand so this should make it so that we always have a thousand of each item apart from dynamites we'll have 500 paper and 500 dynamites i may make separate storage for each i think i already did actually yeah that's fine so we have a thousand thousand of everything which is great it's exactly what we need okay so a lot of that needs to get done a lot of that needs to get done so guys, this is all I've got time for today. In the next episode, hopefully we'll get a second source of power going and we'll finish this production center or district. We've still got a lot to do with this district. We've got to make forests, we've got to make proper housing, a uh, carrot farm and a water. We've got to deal with the water because that's the most important thing at the moment. And we've got a lot of exploding to do. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. I hope to see you on the next one and I hope you have an amazing day. Peace.